Hello, my name is Al Bagas, and I am the director of the School of Mathematical and Statistical Sciences. We are here to serve you in any way we can to help you succeed in your studies. As with many subjects in science and engineering, calculus is a demanding subject, and many students are either not prepared academically or don't know what is expected in terms of work demands. Here are a few tips to help you succeed. First, good pre-calculus background is essential. Mathematics is a discipline that heavily relies on prerequisite material, just like you have to learn to walk before you can learn to run. As a result, many student difficulties with calculus can be traced to poor pre-calculus preparation. So you're advised to brush up on your pre-calculus before the start of a calculus class. And this advice holds even if you've had previous experience with calculus. Most calculus books contain a quick review of the essential pre-calculus concepts before covering calculus. There are also many good resources on the web. Second, practice is the key to success. Just like playing the piano or learning to ski or playing a sport, you have to practice mathematics in order to succeed. Calculus courses all involve homework, some of which is graded, and some of which is assigned for extra practice. Be diligent in doing all assigned homework problems. Seek help from the instructor or tutorial services on questions that are confusing to you. However, recognize that it is not good enough for you just to understand how the instructor, tutor, or friend does a particular problem. You must then practice problems similar to the ones that you did not understand. Remember that on the exam, there are no tutors or helpers, so practice is essential in order for you to have a confidence to complete the exam questions on your own. Third, don't get behind. Playing catch up after a period of inactivity in calculus is difficult or nearly impossible for most students. You should get into a regular daily routine of reviewing text material before each class, reviewing class material after class, followed by doing assigned homework. Trying to cram right before exams after a long period of little practice in calculus is usually a recipe for disaster. Fourth, time commitment. The strategy outlined so far requires significant amount of time and good time management skills. As a general rule of thumb, most students need to devote two hours of time out of class for each hour in class. Thus, a three credit calculus class will require nine hours of work per week three in class and six out of class. Additional time may be needed for study for the exams. However, a regular routine of study should make studying for exams much easier. Be aware that A and B session courses only last seven weeks rather than 14 weeks, and so the pace and time commitments are doubled. Next, advice for online students. In an online calculus course, there are no face-to-face -face meetings and the courses are typically seven weeks rather than 14 weeks. So you must be a self-starter and commit to the time needed to successfully complete such a course. Expect 15 to 20 hours per week. We strongly recommend that you set aside times every day to devote to this class as you would in a traditional calculus class. You should be very careful before signing up for an online class, especially if you have a full schedule or work multiple jobs or have other extensive time commitments that would substantially limit study time. You must be aware that all aspects of the course, such as the syllabus, due dates, discussion boards, these are valuable sources for help, and be aware of how to navigate the websites, especially since there are no face-to-face -face classes. Being properly prepared and having a good work ethic will substantially improve chances of success in calculus. Best of luck with your studies in calculus and in your other courses.